So tonight I'm going to be attempting to repair the hard drive in this old Macintosh computer. Now these Macs from this period of time are very susceptible to hard drive failures. What's actually happening is there's a little piece of rubber in these hard drives and over time that rubber just turns to goop. It's very sticky. Every hard drive has heads, the little things that scatter across the platter can read the information off. Those heads are essentially being held in place by this little piece of goopy rubber. Basically, the drive spins up, tries to move the heads, it can't, and just dies. It does this two times when the computer boots up. However, the disc is not dead, which I'll show you in a second. I'll bring the microphone close so you can hear the disc. So exactly like I described, the disc spins up briefly, then immediately spins back down. There's no seeking noises, no clicking, no nothing. I saw another video where if you wrap these rubber grommets in electrical tape or whatever, that will actually prevent the heads from coming in contact with this goopy rubber. Regardless, I'm gonna start taking apart this old Mac, start taking apart the hard drive, see what we can do. So here we've got the Mac all scattered apart, and I've gone ahead and removed the Quantum Pro Drive ELS, which is our problematic drive in question. It's an 80 megabyte hard drive. But first, before I actually attempt any repairs, I'm just gonna temporarily fix it to show you that it is actually indeed a healthy drive. Okay, so I've got the drive right here. I'm just gonna start taking it out of the caddy. Okay, just like that, drive is free. It's very easy to disassemble this drive. It's only six screws, no hidden screws or anything. Okay, anyways, cover's loose, just pops right off. To temporarily fix this drive, all I have to do this locks the head in place. Now if I move that like that, I think all I did was just, if I plug this hard drive back into the computer, watch what happens. All right, it took a little bit of convincing, but as you can see, the hard drive is now reading data and we are actually booting into an operating system. I think this is 753. Yeah, so the hard drive is not actually like dead. Anyways, I'm gonna start disassembling that drive and see what we can do. All right, so here's our hard drive all taken apart. And I'm gonna be completely honest here. Um, when I was removing the platters, I did actually scratch the inner side of it a bit. So the likeliness of this drive working ever again is really slim. But anyways, there's our culprit piece of rubber, which has definitely turned to goop. Um, I did see another piece right here. This one should not be problematic though because it's not there when it's parked, but when this I put a little bit of tape here so the heads would stop moving when I'm working on them. But when these are parked on the disc, they're resting against that. That's what's causing our issue. This is sticky, see? That's not supposed to stick like that. This should just... I mean... Anyways, you get the point. We're going to wrap that in tape and see if that solves our issues. But judging how I scratched the potters and have put multiple fingerprints on them, I'm not sure if this is going to work. But... I'm just gonna wing it and see what happens. Probably a bit hard to see on camera, but I've actually now gone ahead and covered the problematic piece of rubber and some electrical tape. So I'm gonna reassemble the drive and see if it wants to boot up ever again. All right, so here comes the moment of truth. Did I just waste an hour and a half or did I revive this hard drive? Chances are very, very, very slim. I'm looking at it right now, I'm seeing a couple spots. If you wanna see how I actually cleaned off this hard drive when I did get fingerprints, I'm using none other than my t-shirt, of course. <laughs> Anyways, let's just test it out. The heads are in the parked position, so yeah. Okay. That doesn't really sound normal, but I think I might be able to get this to work. Let me play around with it and I'll be back with you in a moment.
Okay, this is gonna be take two. I was actually able to get it to seek. I don't know how I keep getting stuff on it, but uh, what I'm doing right now definitely is not good for the drive. The heads were actually like touching the pliers and it was making an awful noise, so. Hmm. We're still getting stuck, but that doesn't really make sense. Cause watch. If I do what I did before and just move that little white thing out of the place, the drive starts working. So, <laughs> maybe I just take this thing off? I think that's what allows the drive to be parked, but who knows, maybe if I just take it off it'll work, but I'm kind of surprised this drive is even booting up at all. I feel like it's having a little bit of a struggle. This video may have actually ended in the way that I was hoping. So, it looks like it is actually working. And what I did to get it to work is a little bit weird. So this little thing right here is what parks the heads when the drive would spin down. Now, that's not in there. So I don't really know how the longevity of this drive is going to be. But I mean, we're getting at least a usable system. All 80 megs are at least showing up. Uh, let me go ahead and shut down the computer and see what happens. Do a full power on again with the drive closed and everything. It's definitely not perfect though. It has a lot of trouble reading specific parts of the disc, like I tried shutting it down. Our LED is on solid now. I mean, I might be able to fix that kind of stuff with like first aid or whatever, but at this point I feel like that's more physical, if you know what I mean. Anyways, drive is spun on. Just out of curiosity, I want to see where the heads are. Pretty close to the parked position, but definitely not parked. Let's go ahead and power back on. We're seeking. Alright, so I mean it looks like it is working. And I'm actually pretty happy with that. Of course it's not perfect, but it'll work until I get at least another hard drive, SCSI to SD or something. And I'm gonna try to get it to read data more reliably because like, for example, when I started it up right before this, it didn't have that long pause you just saw. It was at like a different part. It was like when that loading wire was right here. So I don't really know. I'll play around with it, but in all honesty, I don't really use these computers that much. And just at least having it boot up into a system where I don't have to like use floppy disks is nice. And I really don't feel like cashing out $120 for a SCSI 2SD right now, so this will be my drive for testing, I guess. I do have a couple other drives which are completely intact and work flawlessly, original Apple drive, so I'm just gonna call that a video right, right from here, but I'm pretty satisfied with how that turned out. Like I said, again, it's not perfect. How long is this gonna last? I have no idea. But how long will this data, this data stay on this disk before the drive won't read anything? Who knows? But yeah, thanks for watching.